Hello, I am Scorp, and previously I made some videos on how to mount a external hard drive and a NAS drive with your Steam Deck. And this has caused a couple of people some trouble. Most people, it's worked perfectly, and some people have said that this has caused their deck not to boot. So in this video right here, I am going to show you how to fix a non-booting Steam Deck, which has been caused by misconfiguration of the FSTAB table entries. So first thing you're going to want to do is come to this page right here. Uh, I can't be bothered to read out all them stupid numbers, so there will be a link in the description below. And first thing you're going to want to do is, well, just do what it says, quite honestly. Download the recovery image. Step one. Boom. Ah. Boom. Aye. And agree to the probably terms and conditions that no one... Has ever read in their life. Sorry, I'm burping. <laughs> so, <clears throat> just ignore that crap and <laughs> download it anyway. So now that's downloading. This is Steam Deck Recovery Image 4, apparently. The download has now completed, so we are going to open Rufus, and there is a link to Rufus on the Steam page, so I am not going to uh, link to that. I have my SD card plugged in, which you can't see over here. Uh, this is a 16 gigabyte SD card. Steam says it needs to be at 8, at least 8. So, uh, that 16 is the smallest I've got. And then you need to click select and find the location where you've downloaded your image. And that is basically it for creating the image. And then just click start and then wait until it's done. Might be a little slow depending on the SD card you're using because SD cards are pretty rubbish, quite honestly. <laughs> I mean, they're good for what they are. They're absolutely tiny. You cannot uh, fault it for the size. Just the reliability is not so great. It does indeed. Bye bye. Oh yeah, make sure that the disk is em your SD card is empty first, or you've backed it up. Otherwise, it's all gone. Everything's gone. So don't do that. And then wait till that writes. So Rufus has finally finished, and the SD card is ready. So I am going to eject this from my computer because you should eject things. Then we're going to take it out. And I'm going to put it into my deck, not the full SD card, just the micro SD card. Um, I've seen reports that people say that this doesn't work from an SD card, but it always has for me. So whether you're doing this via an SD card or via a USB stick, it doesn't matter. It uh, should work exactly the same. But for me, it's always worked inside the SD card slot. And now you're going to want to boot up holding down the m m volume down button and then the power. So here we are in the recovery image. For some reason the desktop will not show, so I cannot open any applications, but maybe we don't need to. So if we just do um, LSBLK, we can see that we should be mounted on the MMC at the moment. We are not mounted on the internal hard drive. And so what you need to do from here is I've forgotten the I've forgotten the command so we'll come back here this should be on your screen right now we'll open this and this will tell you some useful tips like how to mount the partition and that is with a ch root change root so I'm just going to copy that which is a control shift and C and then I'm going to do a shift insert and that's going to tell me to run as root so I'm just going to do a sudo exclamation exclamation which will run the last command so if we do the same command again um, lsblk we should see that we are now mounted um, to our NVMe drive this this root is now mounted to the internal drive in the exact same normal way so what you might actually be tempted to do from here which is what I did originally would be to do a sudo nano oops and look at your f stab and you'll open this and you'll see well firstly it says it's unwritable and two it's not the correct f stab var lib overlay um etc upper and then f stab this is where your actual f stab lives on your internal hard drive and then it's combined with the 
or overrides the, the default one. So here we are, and here is the line that uh, is causing us the problems because we didn't put a no fail in, or maybe we've got the UUID wrong, or don't know, maybe just the SteamOS just doesn't like this. So what you could do to create this is, of course, put in the no fail. That would be one option. If that doesn't work, you can always just delete the line or like I've done with these two above is uh, I think it might be useful for me to keep those to keep oh no you see it's not it's not, it's not the correct layout I don't know how to use an American keyboard uh, but that on a British keyboard is a uh, the the hash sign ah actually no no because Americans call this uh, pound sign so it is in the same place as the actual pound sign there it is so you could comment that out. That's what the uh, the hash or the pound sign, whatever you prefer to call it, uh, does. It's comment comment out. So ignore this line. So we could do that. We could put the no fail in, and like I say, if it's you could just delete it. If by some chance you've actually made an absolute tit of the defaults, uh, the part set. So these are actual. These are your actual file system. That is uh, the boot. Uh, yeah, that's the boot partition, uh, where my cursor is, the boot partition, also another type of boot partition, and this is your home directory. So if you made a mess of any of these, uh, another option you could take uh, would be to, to copy the original back into this place, which would be, um, so I'm just going to copy that so it's, uh, so it's safe, and then... Uh, I am going to copy the original that I've got, which should revert everything back to the default, just in case you have made a mess of it, like a complete and utter mess, and there's nothing left of it. So, that's now copied, and if I look at that now, that is back to the original. So, booting that now should be perfect, yeah? You'll have no problems booting up, because that is exactly how Steam originally left the f stab. So, for whatever reason, I cannot boot into Steam or the Steam Recovery Disk. It just hangs. So, instead, uh, I have plugged in my Ubuntu Live CD. And uh, let's see if we can fix it from there. So, now the Live CD is finally loaded. <laughs> Click Try Ubuntu. We don't want to install it. We just want to use it from the, for the SD card. So, I'm going to type LSBLK. And I just so happen to know that this one, P6, is our var, and we need var uh, because this is where our fstab is actually stored. So I'm going to copy that. So mount dev nvme0 n1 p6, and we're going to mount that to uh, run, run, and then mount in Ubuntu and there. No, yeah, we need to create it first. So make the uh, slash run slash mount the permission denied. Running into new sudo. So <laughs> that should have made the folder now. <laughs> right. Let's mount. I'm probably going to need a sudo on this as well. So I'm going to put sudo first already. So. Hopefully, that is now mounted. Uh, let's see. Um, let's CD to where we got to go. So run mount the ls. Right. So we are mounted. So I've zoomed in a bit to make it easy to read. We are currently in var on the internal hard drive, and where we need to go from here because our f stab is not contained in etc in our home. It is contained in var, that's why we mounted var. And we are going to go uh, sudo nano, and then we will go to lib overlays. Yeah, <laughs> forget already. XT, XT, and then upper, and then f stab. So this is my actual f-stab of the internal drive for SteamOS and the intentional mistake I made was adding this uppercase D rather than the lowercase D. Um, I'm surprised that would have stopped me from booting into the recovery image though. I'm really surprised. So I'm going to just put it back to the normal D 
Um, I also didn't put in the no fail here, which would stop it from booting without the disk in, but it should still boot with the disk in. So I'm not going to add the no fail here yet. I'm just going to put in the, the D at the front. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. Right. But if that is not good enough and still doesn't work, your other option is then to comment out this line. If you're using a UK keyboard, uh, the um, the hash sign is above. It is the pound sign above the free so so don't bother trying to change your keyboard because you're not going to be in here long enough anyway so that's another way to, to do it and then that will just get rid of the settings or you could just in fact delete the line whichever you want i don't want to delete the line though but let's say you've made an absolute mess of all this you know you've actually just typed in a load of crap or you've deleted some lines or anything the other option you could do to get this back to normal is you could um LSBLK again. So, number f N1P4 should be our home of our Steam OS. So, again, we're going to mount that. We're going to make a, make a directory and we want to do run, run media, oh, not media, mount, sorry. And the new, what shall we call it? Let's, well, we'll call it um, Steam Home, whatever. Steam, Steam Home. Pseudo. Exclamation mark, exclamation marks will ruin the last command, by the way, if I didn't mention this already. So Steam Home now exists, and we are going to mount uh, slash dev slash nvm. E zero N one P four and that is gonna be mounted to run and mount and we're gonna call it Steam Home. So oh, I still didn't put the so I'm I never put pseudo or anything, I forget. E Right, so home is now mounted. I might actually make a new tab for this. So I've got my new tab open. And from here, I'm going to CD to uh, the other, other mount point, my home, my Steam Home Drive, Steam Home. Let's have a quick look, LS. And there is a copy of your ETC here. So if we just do sudo, in fact, I don't even do so. So if we just do nano um, ETC slash F stab, then you will see that this is a copy of your original F stab. So if you've really messed up this one in uh, upper, uh, you've you know seriously just trashed it somehow, or <laughs> something maybe not quite as serious, maybe deleted it or something like this. Uh, what you could do is you can copy this, and what you would do is is you would do to sudo cp, and then we're going to go run mount steam home etc, and then f stab. And then copy that to the upper. So that would be in run mount var lib overlay. It's uh, it's long into <laughs> upper and overlay is etc upper and then uh, f stab. Right. And then if we just look at the upper file now, then that's all back to default. So that's got rid of any changes I've ever made to this file. They're all back to default. So I'm not going to use that method. I have just going to use what I did before, which was correcting the UID. And now I'm going to restart. And that should hopefully boot into something when the hard drive is plugged in. And there we are. We are booted back into SteamOS. So let's just have a quick look at our settings and see... Of storages our external drive is now mounted automatically so this is currently working when the hard drive is plugged in on boot when it's not plugged in on boot it will fail to boot again so uh, luckily now we do have access to our normal steam os and um then you don't need to bother with the ubuntu recovery or the steam recovery what you can just do is, you know, as normal, switch to uh, desktop mode. And from desktop mode, we will just edit the F-Tab again to add the no-fail and they will boot. Here we are 
in just normal SteamOS desktop mode. We are in our FStab, just again, sudo nano uh, etc FStab. And again, from the defaults, we are going to add in no fail. We'll save that and exit. And we're going to restart the, the deck again. And this time with the hard drive unplugged and it should work. So here we are booting without the hard drive installed because here it is in my hand. And if we go to, oops, I always forget the buttons on this. If we go to settings, then we go to storage. Then when I plug this in now, it should get recognized. I've now plugged it in and there we go. Pops up straight away. Uh, I have actually noticed a problem with this. So this only works when you insert it within like the first sort of 30 seconds or minute. If you try and plug this in like three minutes after, then it just will not auto mount. And I'll show you that it doesn't do it. So it's now been a few minutes. I'm going to try and plug it in. And as you can see, it does not auto mount after three minutes I've been booted up. So then the other options I was told to add, which I think are actually these two options. So I'm just going to quickly steal these. I'm going to copy from here, just so it's easier for you to see. And then, this is what I had in the comments of some other videos. So I'm going to do this. That's going to be changed to one millisecond. Um, system, X system D auto mount, X system D idle timeout equals one millisecond. Let's see if that helps our situation. So this is now booting with the options of the system XD auto mount and the device timeout. This has not got my hard drive plugged in. I'm going to leave it some minutes and then I will try and plug in the hard drive like I did before where it didn't work. So let's see. So that's now been some minutes. Let's try plugging it in. Oh, and it works. There we go. So I've just quickly run some tests booting up from various situations with diff different configs. And with the defaults and no fail in the FSTAB entry, the device boots up in 28 seconds with the hard drive unplugged and 28 seconds with the hard drive plugged in. It wakes up in six seconds with it unplugged and six seconds with it plugged in. And it will not mount the drive after about 60 seconds of the system being running. Adding the X system D auto mount and the X system D device timeout, the Steam Deck will boot up in 48 seconds without the hard drive plugged in and 28 seconds with the hard drive plugged in. So having the hard drive unplugged adds about 18 seconds to the boot time. And when you wake the device, if the hard drive's plugged in, it will take six seconds. But if it's not plugged in, it varies quite a lot. It can either take six seconds or it can take 45 seconds to wake up. I mean, it wakes up very instantly. It wakes up in about five seconds, but the deck is not usable for, for 46 seconds sometimes. It'll just show the spinning uh, Steam logo for a while. So you're gonna have to decide really what is more important to you, a hard drive always auto mounting or shaving some seconds off the boot time. I did try with various other combinations of boot up settings, uh, FSTAB settings I mean, and none of them particularly made any difference. So again, thanks for watching. I hope seeing this both in Ubuntu and in the SteamOS recovery helped. Catch you next time. Hmm. I wouldn't say that really worked though, did it? Worked, but after a billion years, it took a billion years, literally a billion years for that to boot. It's now 1,000,000,000 and 2022.